Hey guys, I'm back after a little bit of a time off from the YouTube. I have been enjoying pretty much everybody else's content for the past few months and uh, been looking for that special Bible that kind of grabs my attention, that makes me want to take it, read it, learn it, and love it. And um, I finally, uh, I've come across uh, a few Bibles here in the past few months that I'm going to do some you know brief reviews on and this is uh, one of the most recent ones I've come across it's it's called the new inductive study Bible as you can see here this is this is actually something that was new old stock um, it is the new American standard it's the updated edition this thing re I, I don't know how true this is but uh, it retailed for $74.99 this is an old old Bible I think this was printed in 2000 if I'm not mistaken there's the ISBN and the uh, I guess a UPC label just to see what it is. Um, they had it marked down at my local Bible store here uh, in Bristol, Tennessee, or Bristol, Virginia, and it was for sale for fifty-four ninety-nine. Um, they claimed it was new, just old stock. Uh, it doesn't matter. The the Bible grabbed my attention. It looks like it has been used. Um, tons of features. I can't. I mean, I can tell you that it's it's just a it's a it's a great little great looking little bible as far as how layout is i'm gonna get it out here burgundy bonded leather um there's your spine uh it did have like a smidge on here which I, I you can't really see it in the video too good but the naked eye shows a little bit of a smidge or some kind of a spottage there um go ahead and pull this out yeah and there it is it's uh from harvest house publishers of course new american standard the NISB uh, in the New American Standard. And if you've been following my channel or know anything about me, I am a fan of the New American Standard. It's absolutely a, uh, it's a great translation. It's, it's certainly fantastic. Um, there's a little bit of an angle to show that smidge, if you can see it there. Um, the gilding on the pages, this is older. You can see that it's, it's actually coming off. Um, it is tabbed, of course. We've got... Uh, one single ribbon um, we've got let's see here go ahead and open it up to the to the beginning there's like some indentions in here it's just uh, according to the lady that it's just it's been there for probably 17 or 18 years and nobody's bought it so I thought well I'll give it a shot and uh, I couldn't find a lot on YouTube for the new inductive uh, the, the new inductive study Bible so I thought I might as well give this thing a shot I mean, it's it's a decent little decent little Bible so far. What little bit of time I've had to, to look at it, looks like um, it's saying it's the 1995 version, uh, used by permission from the Lockman Foundation, which is standard for anybody that is not Lockman uh, for a New American translation. Uh, of course, as you see, it's published in 2000. Um, it's got a, a brief forward of the right here talks about uh, the Lockman Foundation promise and the principles of translation it's, it's got a nice little summary at the beginning I, I'm pretty impressed with that um, I'm gonna pick this up here I do like some of the phrasing in it uh, I mean this quote from Timothy right here dedicated to the church of the living God to those whose passion is to be the pillar and support of the truth first Timothy 315 fantastic um, it's got a, a welcome introduction once again. It tells you how to use the book. Um, I mean, it's just got it's got a ton of valuable information. And, and one thing that uh, and we'll get to the to the meat of it here. Um, you've got just a great approach on how to use a study Bible and how this one works. I uh, I do like how it's it's certainly presented here go into I'm gonna go into some uh, scripture itself here and there's tons and I mean look at this color picture of Herod's temple I mean it's beautiful absolutely beautiful guys I want to keep going I mean some of these color pages are just it's just stunning I'm gonna kick into the Old Testament here and um, basically gonna just open it up and just show you how the Bible is laid out you can see that it is single column text which is awesome in my opinion I love a single column text 
Um, I think that uh, it's it's easier for me to, to read through. Tons of space to put your notes in. I mean, my gosh. And then you've got just so much uh, the cross references here in this inner margin. It looks just fantastic. This is black letter, I believe. I, I, I don't think that the inductive study Bible came in a red letter edition. Yeah, I'm back here in Luke and there's no red letter. So yeah, not gonna be a red letter Bible. Um, the uh, uh, from what I gather, it's the summary here. If you read on this, the box it came in tells you that it helps understand the value uh, value of God's word. Uh, it discusses the major events in Israel's history. Uh, there's some reading plans based in this. Uh, the concordance, of course, is in ASB. It's outstanding. Um, go back toward the very, very back of the Bible here and just kind of see if there's anything like these maps are, they look very very old school um here's your development of modern israel zoom in a little bit on this it tells you the different areas i mean i think this is just absolutely fantastic uh i wish this papa was in new condition because this is one that i mean gosh you can see the the breakdown of it, it used to have a a gold gilded edge but uh the gilding is is long gone Here's just some settlements of the descendants of Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Uh, of course, you can see breaks down the countries that they descended to. It's it's just it's just great. It's just a great you know great maps. Um, here's tons of pages for notes. Looks like there's about four or five good pages there for notes. Uh, just every page is labeled study notes, and it's about uh, five or six pages there. We've got the concordance here in the back, which is standard. Um, as far as text block, text block I think is easy to read. I'm just randomly opening up the gnome. And you guys can see that it is not line matched perfectly. Perfectly, The video does show bleed through a lot worse than what it does to the naked eye. But so, I find that some pages it is line matched. And then other pages it's off by quite a bit I mean it's just completely completely uh, weird um, but yeah, like this right here's a prime example of it being off again um, I, I wish that it was more perfected I guess when it comes to line matching because I do appreciate line matching as you guys know that it is certainly easier on the eyes to and minimize that bleed through uh, but yeah I mean this is this is a great little Bible um, uh, I, like I like I said, I, I end up paying about fifty dollars for this. Um, as a matter of fact, I got my receipt down here with it. Uh, yes, total was yeah fifty bucks for uh, I, I dare say used Bible. I mean, it it appears to be used, but the uh, the lady that runs it told me that it had never been sold and they'd had it for a long time. I thought and it, and it called out to me, and I will tell you this, I. Uh, briefly looked at this and decided I was going to do a quick video and I'm going to use this as a primary study Bible for a little while just to see uh, and, and try to take into consideration the recommendations of how they want us to uh, to do the study in here because I mean I tell you what it, it looks it does look great um, paper of course is I don't even know what the GSM would be on this paper it's obviously the the front stuff is a lot thicker um but i mean it feels nice um yeah it's overall uh, on my scale of one to ten fit and finish this is not going to be high up there because it it is just worn down but it's it just feels good for some reason i like it this bible called to me and i uh i didn't buy it on first sight i actually took about two weeks to think about making this purchase and i came back and, and decided I, I had to get this and I went ahead and picked this up. I'm not disappointed at all. I'm very grateful to have it, and uh, it certainly has been uh, a worthy addition to my to my collection. Guys, uh, just like I said, quick video uh, update. I'm glad I'm able to come back and, and shoot another video for you, and hoping to and get a few more out here in the in the near future. But uh, guys, thank y'all for watching. God bless, and have a great day.